and uh, really doing a lot of research based on the new relief bill and going through the numbers, right? Because the numbers, like I said in my last live post, numbers kind of mean something, you know? Uh, I thought it was kind of funny what we saw yesterday, 3.3 million jobs got filed and jobless claims and the market went up on that. I think it was even better when Cheesecake Factory said, we can't pay our rent and the stock went up 4%, 5% of the day. So I was thinking of maybe filing for bankruptcy this way, the valuation of my company would triple. (laughs) It just, there's a lot of things that don't make sense, especially the relief bill. Let's break down the numbers, guys, because if you're looking at unemployment, and this is a big part of the of the entire market in general why we might have not seen the bottom yet uh, and why it's still incredibly risky so uh if you file for unemployment uh based on the, the relief bill that was just signed a little while ago by the president uh you'll pretty much get your full salary for four months if you make around forty five thousand dollars a year okay let's put that in perspective okay let's say my company right we have a little bit over 20 employees let's say if half of them so half of those employees make less than $40,000. What I'm encouraged to do is to lay off all my employees that make less than $45,000 a year. Uh, I'll tell them, hey, you know what, guys, you could work from home. And as they're working from home, the government's going to pay them for four months, which is probably going to be extended to six to nine months because that's how long this thing's going to last. And then as they're working from home, four months later, I'll make a public announcement and say, I'm hiring all these people back because I'm such a great guy, right? And then I get a big pat on the back. So they didn't lose any of their salary. And then a couple months later, I can give them a bonus and publicly announce that as well and say, hey, I give them a small bonus. You know, I saved all this money that nobody knows about. Uh, And that's what small businesses could do. I'm not going to do that. (laughs) Obviously, I'm not going to do that. We we have online businesses doing good. So what, what does this all mean? What am I getting to? Small businesses, if you're a small business owner, you know other small business owners, and you also know a lot of people that are going to do this, that are going to take advantage of the system. What does that encourage? It's going to encourage that that number is getting, somebody just posted this, which they're right, it, this number is going to surge. Unemployment is going to surge. I mean, Goldman Sachs is predicting uh, 13% unemployment rate. Let's put some more numbers behind it. Stay with me here. There's 160 million workers at 13%. That's 20 million job losses. We got 3.3 million. Everyone's like, oh, not that bad. Fed President James Bullard says that we could see 30 percent unemployment. That's close to 50 million jobs. By next month, we're going to go to 30, 40 million easily simply because of this, because even the companies that are doing good and maybe are thriving for this or not seeing a big pullback are going to lay off their employees and let the government pay their employees. That's what this bill says. Uh, I know that politicians, I know they don't. You know, they, they, most of them never ran businesses or are lawyers. I get it. But. Maybe they should have spent a few more days. That's just one of the problems. I mean, you look at energy hasn't even received a bailout. Seven million workers, restaurants, 16 million. A lot of these people are going to get bailouts. You look at it, four million teachers, some of them doing online and stuff, but I'm sure their salary is going to get cut. Uh, guys, this is going to get so much worse before it gets better. I mean, it's just, uh, you know, from what I see and looking at these numbers, the market went up yesterday and surged on 3.3 million. I don't think people understand it's going to go to 30 million plus. I probably had it at about 17, 18 million. It's going to go to 30 million, maybe 40 million, just because they passed this relief bill. And a lot of people are going to take advantage of it. You know people I'm talking about. I know some of the people as well. Uh, I hope I'm wrong on this. I really do hope I'm wrong on this. But unemployment will skyrocket much, much more because this bill was just signed today. Something that's probably not good for the stocks, something that's probably not factored into the markets right now. So, guys, let's continue saying this. It's not like a broken record. Just be careful. It's not a race. You don't have to run in. I know the markets went up 20%. Just be patient. There's a ton of risks. There's a lot of stuff going on. Every 5, 10, 15 minutes of the market, we're seeing five, 600 moves in a Dow from algorithms. Just be very careful. You need to think, see things settle down, and we need to have more certainty. We still have tons of uncertainty. We don't know what any of these companies are going to report. We don't know what earnings are going to be. We have no clue how long this is going to last. The president's saying he might have people go back at Easter uh to work and and, i mean what is it is it a lockdown or is it not a lockdown we still even have a plan in place until we get a lot of these questions answered then i think it's worth jumping back into this market right now just be very very careful if you're going to buy buy small lots this way you can add just in case that those things do come down and improve your cost basis i'm frank curzio have an awesome weekend questions comments frankcurziresearch.com you can also find this on our curzio research youtube page for free I'll report back to you guys soon. Take care.